I know it's late, but I decided to stay up and finish this bed anyway. And it looks pretty good. My husband helped me out. And look at it, we repaired that piece. Now it's all flush with the other piece and it's all nailed down. I'm so thankful and grateful that my husband helped me out. And this bed is somewhat complete in terms of making the protective cover and the box for the dirt and the other things to go in it, um, compost, what have you. So I thought I'd just shoot this video even though it's at night because we finished this piece, we did it. And now it's level. One other thing I forgot to mention earlier when I was doing the video and I said that I had three areas, like this one area, this middle area, and then I mentioned that I had this area here. I made a mistake, I had four areas. Because when I make this turn, and I'm gonna do the turn here, here's another area. I haven't even started on this area yet. And I mentioned these areas are by 25 feet, and I think they're by 22 feet. So, got a lot of room here to do some things, some, something with in terms of growing, cropping. All right, there you have it. Complete. Nice and sturdy. I like it. Okay, so I, I sort of gotten carried away and I didn't mention what I put into my garden bed. And I threw all the bags away, but anyway, let me do my best to explain. So I filled up this bed with um, some hay, um, some, I wanna say it's aged hay. I went a couple of doors down to one of the farmers on the corner um, of my road and they sell hay and eggs and things like that and I bought a couple of bundles of hay and you can see some of it um, right there in the corner so I filled it up with um, a big bundle of hay I had two bundles I didn't put two bundles because it looked like that would have been too much but now that I'm looking at my garden I need more um compost or soil or something because I don't have enough so I put the hay in on top of the cardboard then I put some um, some type of top soil. I tried to buy the organic stuff um, and then I also put some manure in the middle and then on top of the manure I did like a compost type of um, um, mixture, a, a few big bags. It was just the miracle grow though. And I don't know if that was all natural or not, but it seemed like it said it was. Maybe it not, but I bought three big bags of it and, um, and I put that on top. So I'm going to go back to the store and I'm going to get a few more bags and try to fill this up. And then I'm just going to try it out and drop some seeds in this baby and see what happens. Um, the things that I would like to put down um, will be the things that grow in my zone, which I'm in zone 5B. And so I can only do a few things right now before the frost hits. So I think I'm going to try to go with some kale, some collard greens, and maybe some turnip bottoms, I think they're called. And I'm going to see if it lets me do some carrots. So that, those are some seeds that I have. And those, I think, some of them are organic seeds. I gotta go check. And um, so yeah, just wanted to give you an update. How it's looking, I did fill the bed. I did put some stuff in it. Before when I showed a picture, or a video, it was just blank. And now I have stuff in it. So um, I'll keep posting my progress. And we'll see how this turns out.